Hi, Jeff Aiken here, uh, videographer and photographer with the SPJ National Digital Media Committee. Wanted to talk to you and share a few video notes to go along with my column in this month's issue of Quill, talking about using your digital SLR HD video capture function uh, as news photographers. First, using a tripod. Of course, we're as photographers, I'm sure we're all evangelists of using that tripod. You know that you get that shutter or that motion blur if your shutter speed is too low. Well, imagine when you've got your shutter open for five minutes shooting video. You're really going to see the shakes and the motion blur. So a couple points about tripods. You all have one and, and know about tripods. But I'm going to recommend that you uh, have the pan head instead of the ball head on your Bogan Monfrotto tripod. Here I have a, a pan head on here, and I slap the plate on the bottom of my digital SLR. So you can slide it right in there just like a video camera. Looks a little strange on a, with a digital SLR on it. But now you're able to pan around in a very smooth motion. And I just really recommend these for any kind of video operation. The other thing, of course, is always carry a portable tripod with you. And I just want to recommend uh, something here. I got the Targus uh, tripod for about 15 bucks at Walmart. Just have something with you because, especially with video, you want to make sure that you have something steady to catch, capture that video. One of the reasons you're seeing a lot of professional filmmakers and videographers move over to the digital SLRs is really this, the, the, the expense or, or the, the affordability of some of these amazing lenses that come with the Canon, Nikon, and other, other pro photography equipment. Um, it's, it's that lens that allows them to have that short depth of field that really adds that professional touch to their video. To pay for something like that and have a short, shallow depth of field on a studio or film camera is quite expensive but digital SLRs make that price a little more affordable and they shoot great, great HD video. Um, I have the Nikon D300S here and I just want to show you when you turn the live view mode on and prepare to capture some video um, you can see that if you're moving around and you've got a different light source you might see here that it's kind of flickering the exposure will change depending on where that center exposure node is and it just tells you it's the computer and the camera is trying to figure out what to expose and it's set on auto and that can be pretty distracting if you're videotaping something and you're moving around and that exposure is just automatically shifting on you. You definitely don't want that to happen. So figure out with your camera, I'm going to show you here on the D300S, that you can just go ahead and hit that auto exposure lock button. What you want to do is you find a good exposure with the auto mode, hit a lock when you're happy with it, and then now when I move around, there's no flickering. Lastly, I want to make a point about interviewing. A lot of photographers I know have spent a lot of their career behind the lens, let the reporters have all the fun doing interviewing. I really want to encourage you to, fig to learn a little bit about how to conduct a proper news interview so that when you're out covering breaking news and you're doing video, you can now go up and also get some video interviews with folks. So don't be afraid to, to speak out a little bit and stand there and ask people some questions. If you're out at a breaking news, say there's a fire, pull one of the firemen aside and say, listen, can I interview you for the story? And just ask them some questions. Who, what, when, where, why, and how? Try to get them to talk about the fire, how it started, all of those kinds of things. Get some, get some great sound bites that you can put with that B-roll video you've got of the blaze shooting through the windows and that kind of thing, and you'll be able to put together a full multimedia story without even any of those pesky reporters around. That's about it for my tips, my few tips for shooting HD video with your digital SLR and turning, hopefully helping you turn from photographer into a full-fledged videographer, photographer, and multimedia photojournalist. Happy shooting.